I welcome all the students to this video lecture on ATM skimming and card cloning. In my earlier lectures, while discussing about automated teller machine, I explained the meaning of ATM and the structure of ATM. And in my one of the lectures, I also explained various types of ATM cards. Now in this particular lecture, I will try to explain the process of ATM skimming and card cloning. The term ATM skimming and card cloning are related with the frauds which often happens with ATM transactions. The frauders steal the information extract the information of the customers and use that extracted information to steal the money from their bank accounts. While stealing this information, they do use certain devices, some physical modified devices to steal this particular information. So in this particular lecture, let us try to understand what is the process of ATM skimming and card cloning. Initially, at the outset, I will explain the meaning of ATM skimming and then we will see the meaning of card cloning. So in order to understand the meaning of ATM skimming and the procedure of ATM skimming, we should know the important terms which are related with this particular procedure. The first important term we should understand that is meaning of magnetic strip. The second important term is card reader or portable card reader and the third important concept is of pinhole hidden camera. First, we should know, we should understand what are the terms, what these terms are. Then we will understand the procedure of ATM skimming. So initially, I will explain the meaning of ATM skimming. The meaning of ATM skimming, the ATM skimming is the process of copying information from the magnetic strip of bank cards. The copying information from the magnetic strip of credit card, debit card that is ATM cards. So what is this magnetic strip is about? We can see in this particular image, it is an ATM card. On this particular card, we can see it is a embedded chip. Here the number of ATM is printed. The name of the card holder is mentioned over here and the validity of the card is mentioned at this particular place. This is the front side of ATM card. And the second image here, it is the reverse side of ATM card. In this reverse side of ATM card, we can see this is the black strip. This black strip is known as magnetic strip. The important information of the account holder is hidden in this magnetic strip. The important information which is essential for withdrawing the amount of money from the ATM machine, that information is hidden, that information is stored in this magnetic strip. So this is what the magnetic strip which is on this particular ATM card. So second important point is portable card reader. What the portable card reader is? Here in this particular image of the ATM machine, 
we can see this particular instrument this is the portable this is the original card reader original card reader installed in this particular machine what is the portable card reader first we will try to understand what is the function of this particular inbuilt original card reader whenever we enters into the atm point we take our card and we insert our card in this particular slot this is known as card reader original card reader in order to swipe our atm card initially for withdrawing or for performing the transaction what we will do we enter into that atm location at that atm point we take our card we hold our card and initially we insert our atm card into this card reader into the slot of this card reader after inserting the atm card into the slot the machine reads the information and after reading the information it will do further transactions or it will perform the further transactions so what the frauders will do the frauders will do they will use the duplicate portable card reader to steal the information from the magnetic strip the frauders will insert the duplicate portable card reader over this particular slot they will put the duplicate portable card reader or movable card reader on this particular original card reader in the another image i will show what is this duplicate portable card reader in this particular image we can see this is the portable card reader which the frauders will insert over this original card reader this is the original card reader and frauders will insert this duplicate card reader over this original card reader and what is the function of this duplicate portable card reader the function of this duplicate portable card reader is to read is to steal is to extract the information which is hidden in that particular magnetic strip of our card so they will steal this particular portable card reader will store all the information which is hidden over there in the magnetic strip so in this way the frauders will collect the information of the victims they will collect the information of the customers through this portable card reader then just only this information which is extracted from this particular magnetic strip is not enough to steal the money from our bank account the most important another thing which is needed is the pin number of the victim or the pin number of the customer then how they will steal this pin number of the customer in order to get the pin number of the customer in order to steal the pin number of the customer what they do they will insert some hidden pin hole camera on that particular atm machine or they will put a duplicate pad number this is the original number pad this is the original pin pad what the frauders will do the frauders will insert the duplicate pin pad or duplicate number pad over this original pad in order to steal the pin number of the customer the two methods are there to steal the pin number of the customer the one method is to steal through hidden pin hole camera or to record the uh, number pin number through hidden pin hole camera 
or to record the number through this duplicate pin pad in one of the images i will show this is the image which shows uh, the camera is over here this camera the frauders will uh, insert the hidden pinhole camera at this particular place in order to read in order to record the inserting pin number at the time of transactions or sometimes they will insert that or they will put this hidden pinhole camera somewhere in the machine at this particular place so that they can easily capture they can easily record the pin number which the customers enters at that particular transaction in some other image we can see here in this image the pinhole camera the frauders will insert the pinhole camera in this machine and this camera will record the what the customer is, is entering the pin so it is the hidden camera or they will hide the camera somewhere over this place from where they can record the pen entering process of the customer so in this way through this hidden pinhole camera the frauders will record the frauders will collect the entered pin information of the customers so here in this particular procedure what we learned here up to now is about magnetic strip the second is portable card reader and the third one is to record the pin number through hidden camera so these are the inputs which the frauders will need to do the atm skimming in order to perform the procedure of atm skimming just collecting the data from this portable duplicate card reader is not enough apart from portable card reader data the frauders will need the pin number of the customers so in this way through this particular various devices card reader and hidden camera or card reader and duplicate pin pad the frauders will collect the important information from the customers now after collecting this information what they will do what the next procedure is the next procedure is card cloning so up to now whatever the procedure i explained here this is the procedure about atm skimming means in this particular procedure what we learn how the frauders copy the information of the customers how the frauders collect the information of the customers after collecting this particular information from the customers now the frauders will do the procedure of card cloning card cloning here card cloning is the process of pasting the information on a duplicate card once they collected all the information now they will use that information for withdrawing the money in order to withdraw the money from the bank account of the victims or from the bank account of the customers what they will do they will prepare the duplicate cards the procedure of preparing the duplicate cards is known as card cloning the duplicate card is also known as cloned card c l o n e d cloned card is known as duplicate card the process of pasting information on duplicate card is known as the procedure of card cloning they will use a specific device to clone the card or to prepare the duplicate card so in this way through card skimming they collect the information and they will 
put that collected information on a duplicate card that procedure is known as card cloning after the procedure of card cloning the frauders will get a duplicate card and that duplicate card will be used to steal the money from the victim's account to steal the money from the customer's account they will use these cloned cards the frauders will use these cloned cards at various atm machines and point of sales devices to withdraw the money from the bank account of the customers so in this way the frauders through card skimming and card cloning deceives the customers and steal the amount of money from the bank account of the victims of the customers so atm machine or the point of sales device here this in this image this is the point of sales device whenever we go to some retail shop or petrol bank we can see this type of point of sales terminals point of sales devices where that particular uh, vendor or that particular person will swipe our card from here from this particular slot and they will collect the required amount from our account so this is the point of sales device in our next lecture i will explain the meaning and uh, the procedure of this point of sales device so here what the frauders will do once they prepare the duplicate card they will insert the duplicate card in the atm machine or they will insert that duplicate card in this point of sales terminals to perform the duplicate transactions but this atm machines and point of sales terminals are not in a position to recognize the difference between the duplicate cards and original cards these atm machines the card reader original card reader of atm machine and the point of sales terminals machines will not recognize at all the difference between the original card and duplicate card original card and cloned card so therefore it will be very easier for the frauders to deceive the victims to steal the money from the account of the victims in this particular way so therefore nowadays the banks started the inserting the ev emv chips on atm cards this is the chip which is embedded on the atm card recently uh, we get this particular atm cards from our banks on which uh, the both uh, the magnetic strip as well as this particular chip is available over this card so in order to avoid this particular uh, skimming card cloning and all these frauders uh, practices in order to stop the practices of this particular frauds the banks now introduced this particular uh, chip into their or they embedded this particular chip on the atm cards so in this way i explained the uh, meaning of atm skimming and the procedure of the skimming and card cloning how the frauders will deceive the customers how the frauders steal the information of the customers atm cards by using this particular devices in skimming and card cloning in the next lecture i will stop this particular lecture here in the next lecture i will explain the another topic that is about the points of sales terminals what is the meaning of points of sales terminals so thank you very much